Okay, so good evening everyone. My name is Anand. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Fresh Alley. Fresh Alley is a smart vending technology company. And what we do is we enable the vending companies and the product companies to sell their products of any shape, any size, from any industry, anywhere, through these smart vending machines. Now when you think of vending machines, what comes to mind? Have you had those experiences where you walk to a vending machine and the machine is out of stock, <laughs> especially of your favorite products? Or you go to a vending machine and you are struggling to push a dollar bill and nothing comes out of it? Or most of the times you are staring at same sets of products, most of the time it's a junk food. If you look at the other side of the world, the vending operators and the vending merchants they want to sell products of different shapes and different sizes. They want to bring products from different companies, maybe from different industries. They don't want to load the vending machine with the same set of product, with the same form factor, because that's what gets fitted into the vending machine, those springs. Also, they want to get a real-time data on what's selling, what's not selling, or what has expired, or what's going to expire, so that they can change the pricing, they can change the promotion, and they can sell the product instead of throwing the product. So that way they improve the operating efficiency. So at Fresh Alley, we solve all of those problems. We have a product agnostic smart vending platform and they primarily, it, primarily, it primarily has three solutions. First is the smart vending machine. So you can walk up to the vending machine, you can look at the product details in the screen if you want, otherwise you can just swipe your card. When you swipe your card, the card is authorized, Within seconds, the door is unlocked and you can open the door. So you open the door and you take the products, whatever you want to take. You can take the product from the box and when you close the door, that's when the transaction completes. The card is charged and you have a receipt in your mobile device. So it's easy, it's different experience. The product is not thrown at you on the floor and it's all clean. The, the second solution is the consumer app. So with the consumer app, you can see or you can search the inventory in the vending machine without walking to the vending machine. So if you are in a in fourth, fifth floor in Nokia building, you have a vending machine on the ground floor, you want to check whether your favorite product is there in the vending machine before you walk to the vending machine. So you can search the inventory. And the third and the most important one is the merchant app. The merchant app gives the real-time data and the predictive analytics to the merchant so that they can improve the operating efficiency and improve their business. So what, that's what we do. Uh, we are an early stage company. I'm currently working with some strategic partners like uh, big box retailers. Um, there are some traditional food vending companies who are interested to use our platform and also some transit marketplaces who are going to bring retail to the, <coughs> in the transportation industry. So if you have any product that you want to sell through a smart vending platform or you want to showcase to the commuters, or students, or regular customers through the smart vending platform, we can help you. So please reach out to freshally.com. Even otherwise, if you, can, if you think you can help us by bringing some strategic partners or customers, please reach out to Freshally. So that's it from my end. I have a small video, <coughs> home production 90 second video. All the actors are my team members. But I want to show this, okay, just 90 seconds. <laughs> and you guys all know, right? There's a debate going on. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming here. <laughs>
That's it. Thank you. You know, first of all, I think this is a really cool idea. I really like the way you've rethought vending machines. But have you you talked a little bit about having an app? But is there any way that, that these machines can kind of reach out and sort of get you know, like for example, combine geographic information and and basically sell to people who are in the area? Have you thought thought through that and, and what kind of opportunities might there be? Okay. So the question was, can the machine itself sell the product or some way give a push number? push notification, I think that's what you're asking. Exactly. So we have built those features, but we didn't bring into the production because a lot of the companies are asking different forms of features of what they want to do. But yes, that can be done. Uh, you can send a push notification to the consumers, especially if the consumer has registered and there's a favorite product uh, that he or she has kind of ticked. So whenever the product is loaded, the customers will be notified the new product or favorite product is here today. So that can be done, yes. Uh, who owns the inventory here? So the sellers, so that can be multiple sellers who want to use a vending machine to sell the product. So who will ultimately own the inventory? And in case of an issue, like say vandalism or something like that, and the machine is damaged or things are taken out without control, it's like a common scenario in emerging markets. So who will take responsibility for it? Yeah, so the question is, who owns the inventory? Fresh Alley is not a vending service company. We are a technology company. So we provide the technology to the vending service companies. So the vending service companies, owns the, they own the inventory. So there are two prospective customers like SVS vending company. They already do a vending machine with a lot of enterprises. And they want to replace their old vending machine with the new ones. Okay, so, but there are a few other new companies which um, kind of is a innovative model. They are trying to bring uh, retail to the train stations. So that's a question that comes there, you know, if there's a vandalism. So we are trying to keep it, keep the vending machines not anywhere or everywhere, or not in an open platform, it's in a secure area and where it's more safe. That's what we are trying to do, or in schools. Right. Well, just a follow-up. So now, how do you identify a certain product has been removed from the machine? Is it based on the read or what's the logic behind it? So it's on RFID. RFID. It seems very civilized, but what's to keep people from taking more than they pay for? <laughs> so they can take, they can, I, I keep getting these questions all the time. So once you open the door, you can take whatever you want to take. You can take the entire inventory. So when the door is closed, that's when you get charged. So you are not buying before. You are just authorizing, you are opening the door. You can take whatever if you feel so ready, ready. You can take everything. Yeah. But if it's not your card. That's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, do, how, do you, how do you track that? Just out of curiosity. How do you track what? Yeah, like which products are being taken or hard. So the question is, how do you track the inventory? Um, RFID is really cheap now, it's a dime. So the tag is there in every product. Uh, most of your product, whatever you're wearing, your jeans, your shirts, probably has RFID. Yeah. We haven't washed, right? Uh, so when the product gets into the machine, right now what we, the video production is for the food because we just had a fridge and kind of we made a prototype around it and the example is a food. But that product can be anything. It can be a food, it can be flour, it can be shoes, it can be glasses, whatnot, right? the consumer electronics. So when the tag gets into the machine, there's a, a receiver that identifies this tag number, this is the product, this is the expiration date, this is the pricing, this is the picture, whatnot. It has everything. So it's connected to the cloud and uh, that's all the information. Last question. Is it going to be Not yet. That can be built, but we are just on the uh, credit cards right now. Can I take one more? Last one. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so do you have any analytics to determine what product should go in the machine? Yes, that's the primary deliverable of the merchant analytics. So it should not just, they should not be loading the you know, soda, chips and candies every, every day, right? Depending upon different variables, it could be weather, it could be festivities, events, uh, location, um, the analytics will tell what 
has more probability of, probability of selling, that's what happens. But how do you train the user that uh, the new products there? Because we are all trained to realize that there are only certain type of products. I think that's a follow-up question, okay? So yeah. there's the last one. <laughs> so in the retail industry, okay, consumers don't want to be trained. They want surprises. Okay, they want wow and they want surprises. They don't want to be predictable. They don't want to go to the same store every day and find a black t-shirt, you know, a polo t-shirt. They want surprises, they want uh, you know deals. They want new products, and that's what drives the millennial uh, customers. Okay, so, and we are aligning to the customers that we have.